Today is October 6, 2025. The Cosmos has just delivered something truly special, an object named 3i Atlas. It's interstellar, a traveler from another star system, passing through our celestial backyard. Just days ago, it made a close flyby of Mars, and our robotic eyes on the red planet were ready. We expected a comet or asteroid, but the universe surprised us. For most of history, everything we studied in the sky belonged to our solar system. Now we're getting visitors from other stars. 3i slash Atlas is only the third confirmed interstellar object. The first was Oumuamua in 2017, cigar-shaped and mysterious. The second, Borisov, was more like a familiar comet. So, what would number three be like? The anticipation was electric. The Mars flyby was a perfectly timed cosmic encounter, using our advanced instruments on and around Mars. This was a rare chance to study an interstellar object up close. The data could rewrite textbooks on planet formation and interstellar space. The first images are in, and they're weird. In astronomy, weird means exciting, a new puzzle to solve. The object isn't behaving like a typical comet or asteroid. Scientists everywhere are racing to understand what's going on. We're standing at the edge of a new discovery. The journey to understand 3 i atlas is just beginning. Keep your eyes on the sky. Things are about to get interesting. Where did 3 i atlas come from? It was discovered by the Atlas telescopes in Hawaii and Chile, which scan the sky for asteroids. Sometimes they find something extraordinary, like an interstellar visitor. Astronomers noticed its path, too fast, on a trajectory not bound by the sun's gravity. It was just passing through. Before 2017, we'd never seen an interstellar object, though we suspected they existed. Now, with survey telescopes like ATLAS and the upcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory, we're poised to find many more. Each one is a precious sample from a distant stellar nursery. 3i slash Atlas came from the direction of Lyra, but its true origin is unknown. It's likely been traveling for millions of years, born around another star, flung into space, and now, for a brief moment, intersecting with ours. This fleeting encounter lets us study a piece of another world without leaving our solar system. Oumuamua was too fast and faint. Borisov stayed far from our probes. 3i slash Atlas however passed close to Mars, where we have a scientific presence. This was our golden ticket. The first time we could get a close-up of an interstellar object using more than just Earth-based telescopes. Using our Martian assets to observe it was a stroke of cosmic luck. The stage was set for a historic observation. For astronomers, this was a dream come true. The universe had handed us a rare opportunity. On October 2nd, 3i slash Atlas made its closest approach to Mars, passing just 1.5 million kilometers from the planet, a remarkably close encounter in the vastness of space. For context, that's about four times the distance from Earth to the Moon, but in cosmic terms, it's a near miss. Mars orbiters, including the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, were quickly repurposed for this rare opportunity. Their cameras, usually focused on Martian landscapes, were now aimed outward, ready to capture images of this fleeting interstellar visitor as it zipped past. Teams at NASA and ESA worked around the clock, coordinating a complex observation campaign. They uploaded new commands to the orbiters, carefully timing each maneuver to track the fast-moving object as it crossed the Martian sky. The high-rise camera, typically used for high-resolution images of Mars's surface, was pressed into service as a space telescope. This was no small feat. Engineers had to adapt the equipment for a target far dimmer and faster than anything it was designed to observe. The orbiters took long exposure shots, gathering as much light as possible from the distant object. Each exposure was carefully planned to maximize the chances of capturing 3i Atlas as it streaked by. After the flyby, the precious data began its long journey back to Earth, transmitted across millions of kilometers to the Deep Space Network's giant antennas. Once received, image specialists got to work. They stacked multiple exposures, calibrated colors, and worked to tease out every possible detail from the raw data, hoping to reveal something extraordinary. In control rooms around the world, anticipation built. Would the first images show just a faint dot, 
or would they hint at something truly unexpected? The first images of 3i Atlas stunned everyone at JPL. Instead of a single point, the images showed two distinct points of light, close together, within a shared, faint envelope of gas and dust. It appeared to be a binary object, two bodies orbiting each other. Finding a binary interstellar object was a complete surprise. How could two objects stay bound together for millions of years through the galaxy? The coma, the cloud of gas and dust, was lopsided and asymmetrical. Spectrometer readings revealed not just water ice and carbon, but also unexpected heavy metals like nickel and iron. This suggests it formed in a very different environment than our sun. The coma was brighter on one side, as if one object was more active. There were also strange, rapid fluctuations in brightness. Something dynamic was happening. A simple rock or comet doesn't behave this way. We were looking at something entirely new. The mystery deepened. The findings sent the scientific community into a frenzy of theories. Was it a contact binary? Two objects fused together? Or two separate bodies in a tight orbit? If so, how did they survive the journey through interstellar space? Some suggest it came from a nearby young star system, or that the pair became bound more recently. The high metallic content hints at formation in a metal-rich region, or perhaps it's a fragment of a larger, shattered body. The rapid flickering could be jets of gas erupting from one or both objects. If one is more active, it could explain the lopsided coma. This dynamic, binary, active system is unlike anything we've seen before. It's a brand new type of celestial object. Why does this matter? Because it's our first real look at the building blocks of another solar system. For centuries, we've only had our own solar system to study. Interstellar visitors like 3i Atlas are messengers from other stars. The binary nature challenges our understanding of how such systems form and survive. Its metallic composition hints at the diversity of planetary nurseries across the galaxy. This could mean other solar systems have very different starting ingredients. Understanding this variety is crucial in the search for life elsewhere. Every new discovery expands our cosmic perspective. 3i Atlas is a puzzle box from another star. The universe is more complex and surprising than we imagined. The Mars flyby was just the beginning for 3i Atlas. It's now heading out of the solar system, but we still have time to study it. Astronomers will track its fading activity and try to resolve the binary components as the coma dissipates. The James Webb and Hubble Space Telescopes, along with ground-based observatories, will gather every bit of data possible. The Mars flyby data will fuel research for years. Scientists will model its behavior, formation, and survival. The discovery energizes the hunt for more interstellar objects. With new observatories coming online, we may soon find dozens more. One day, we might even send a probe to intercept one. The cosmic story is just getting started.